Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to continue our discussion of I can't take this anymore, which results from me seeing over a one, two, three week period, you know, multiple submissions and the same mistakes constantly. So let's review this. And this is series is going to be all about glass. Glass has a negative impact on frequency response. It's not easy to calculate, but it's very easy to hear. So you want to stay away from glass in all the sound fields that are critical to achieving high resolution in a room. Look at this first photo. We have a narrow corridor, which is not a good idea from the beginning, but we'll talk about that in a future video. But we've got glass for the front wall. Not good. Not good at all. Reflections off glass are very, very Bad distortions, I guess is the way to say it. Look at this next photo. We have a whole front wall that's glass. There can't be any resolution in this room. There just can't be. Now, there might be blinds or shades that pull over the glass when you're listening to music. That's fine. But listen, if it doesn't have a predictable rate and level of absorption that matches resolution, you're back to ground zero again. This next photo looks like a living listening room combination. We've got glass for the front walls again. Not good. And you can't have glass. It has that negative impact on 800 to 2000 cycles. And it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. And then this next one we see with churches. Constantly. Glass sidewalls. Sometimes I wonder who designs these rooms because the sidewall reflections in large venues have a direct impact on speech intelligibility. And that's how many words in a 10-word sentence you can hear clearly. And isn't that the goal in churches and large venues? Speech intelligibility. So why are we shooting ourselves in the foot with windows on the sidewalls? Next one looks like a little bedroom setup. Once again, windows, not good. So we want to stay away from glass completely in a critical listening environment. Okay, so is it the answer no windows or can we have windows? Well, we can have windows. Look at this graphic in a new design we're building. Look where the windows are. Look at the characteristics of the window. They're small, not a lot of surface area coverage. They're out of the major sound fields. They're up against the wall ceiling intersection. They let plenty of ambient light in and they don't dis disrupt the sound field and create distortions. Reflections from them are not going to be part of the calculation. We're not going to be bothered by that little bit of glass in that position in the room. So the position is critical. If you do have glass, you want to make sure that you use the proper rate and level of absorption to cover it. Drapes are absolutely worthless most of the time. They're not thick enough. They don't provide the proper rate and level of absorption, and they're unpredictable. So you want to be careful with using standard material types. If your goal is resolution, which ours is, like I said, we view everything through a lens of resolution. So windows are bad, but we can locate them in positions where they don't interfere with resolution. So this is the fourth in our series. We'll continue this series as these items come across my desk. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.